I'm Joan Epler. Please join with Dr. Gary Epler, who discovered a new way of life. Today, we're going to talk about applying this to thinking and how this shows on your face. I'm Dr. Gary Epler. The new way of life is knowing who you are moment by moment by knowing where you're thinking from. Today, we're going to talk about how your thinking tells the world who you are. What do you mean? You probably heard that you have 10 seconds for people to know if they want to talk to you or do business with you. But it's not 10 seconds. It's instant. People know instantly if they like you by the look on your face. Can you explain? Author Lyle Loundis talks about a famous caricature artist who knows people's personality instantly by looking at their face. And most of the time, people don't know their own public personality. He'll draw someone's caricature on a napkin at a social event. When people look at the drawing, they always say, oh, that's good, but that's not really me. However, their friends all nod their heads in agreement with that caricature portrayal. How can you know someone's personality by looking at their face? Everyone does it. What do you mean? It's where you're thinking from. If you're thinking about yourself or being critical from your head stress center, your face shows stress. People see you stressed. Where you're thinking from is your personality moment by moment. You feel sorry for yourself? That's your personality. You're complaining? That's your personality. You don't want to be someplace. You don't want to do small talk. Everyone knows it. You're desperate trying to get a job, find a romantic relationship, or meet your monthly quota, your face tells the story. I never thought about it, but it makes sense. So, what's the harm? It depends on what you're trying to do. If you're in a social setting and enjoy talking with people, no one's going to come up to you and start a conversation if your face says, go away. If it's a romantic situation, no one wants to talk to someone stressed out or desperate. What about a sales situation? This can be disastrous in a sales situation. If you bring your angry face, better than anyone else face, or trying to make money face, then you're not going to make a sale. Can you give an example? It's everyday life. Everyone is always selling ideas, products, services, where to go for dinner, or where to go on the family vacation. For example, you're selling a tech product at a convention, and you're walking toward a potential client. Before you introduce yourself, that person has determined they don't want to do business with you and have no interest in what you're saying. And you, too, will know this in a few moments from talking with the person. How do you know they're not interested? While you look at their eyes, giving your pitch, the person will glance to the left or to the right, as if looking for something more interesting than what you're saying. The person will fidget, touch the face, or move, all with the idea of getting away. Finally, their feet. Their feet are sideways, ready to go for that exit. Sounds dramatic. People make up their mind without you saying a word. What should you do so people will always want to talk with you or do business with you? Be your true self with good posture. Show interest in them and that you like them. For example, don't use the quick fake smile used for photographs. Delay the smile for a couple of seconds so then your smile is for them and you're pleased to see them. What else? Your face shows where you're thinking from. Be thinking about the other person, their feelings, what they like, and what you have in common with them. These thoughts will show a strong, successful face. Remember, do not have self-centered thoughts or negative thoughts when approaching people. They will instantly recognize your thinking.
What do you do if you're upbeat, positive, and kind, but the person turns you down? This is not because of you. It's the other person. Person's probably having a bad day. How you're thinking shows your personality. Do you have any closing comments? Where you're thinking from shows on your face, moment by moment. Think from your heart with strength and from your mind with success. Be exceptional by being your true self. This is Joan Epler and Dr. Gary Epler closing this Good Thoughts podcast. Best wishes for good health and a great day.